Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Tablescape video. So today I'm going to be cleaning up what is left of my Super Bowl party. Um, I did a little video on putting together this quick little table for the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. You can see there's not much left of it because obviously I ate all the food and we used all the things. So I'm going to clean this up. We're going to set the table for Valentine's Day. Um, I don't even know if I'm having friends over for Valentine's Day, but I have a very, very pretty uh, pink, purple, and red bouquet of flowers that I just want to incorporate into a little tablescape. So that's what we're going to work on. We start by removing all of these things, and then we will start on the new table. Football plates, I take that vinyl off. I love adding removable vinyl to my plates when I don't have specific plates, like a Halloween football. You do it for Valentine's Day, but I have cute hearts. Good thing I made a bunch of these because they liked them. I know for sure is that I want to use my pink plates and the purple heart bowls because I haven't used those and I think they'll go really pretty with the flowers. Um, this table is all askew from football. at an angle since my living room and the TV is over there. Let's set the table more this way. Right. I have these placemats that are pink. smidge of like rose gold copper running through them. I've never used. Got them on sale. So I think they'll be really cute. Man, are they tacked nicely. There we go. Put the two on the sides under the fringe of the table runner. And then the two on the ends over. I don't do square a lot. Actually, you know, I think I'm just going to use two. This is why I don't use square a lot, is they don't really go well on my round table. So I think just two is good. We'll set the other two places on the table runner. I think that'll work. Here are the flowers. They are beautiful with all of these um, carnations and roses and then the big chrysanthemums, the anthus, beautiful. I've been thinking about growing some of these big chrysanthemums in my garden but you have to typically order those. I haven't really seen any around here, so they'd be great in my cut flower garden in the raised beds. I think they'd be really pretty and they're gorgeous in arrangements. 
Got our pink plates. These are the matte ceramica. And I have the dinner plates and the salad plates. I actually have all the bowls as well, like the pasta bowls and the cereal bowls. And I use these dishes probably more than any other, like for daily use. They're so pretty. Valentine's Day. I think I actually used the last salad plate um, for dinner last night, so let me grab it out of the dishwasher. It was in the dishwasher, so at least I know it's clean. And then here are the little purple heart bowls. I think these are going to look so pretty with the pink and purple flowers. like Valentine's Day and a picture. I think I'm going to use my rose gold um, silverware, flatware, to pull the rose gold out of here. And then we'll cap it off with some cups and see if that's enough. I I kind of want more of a centerpiece, but I want the flowers to really be the star because that's the whole point of the table. So we may we may be good with just the cups. I've got some really pretty pink depression cups. I was trying to avoid using any depression glass since I did my whole Valentine's table with depression glass last year, but I think just cups would be okay. Apparently, I did not film bringing out my pink depression glasses or my rose gold flower, but well, that's okay. It's a pretty uh, simple process. Just put the flower on the table. I'm gonna have some napkins, and then I think we're gonna call it done. It's a very simple table but I think it's really pretty. And I don't think I wanna overcomplicate it by adding more clutter around the base of the flowers, which is the only other thing I could do is I've got some little, I've got some cute little pink depression glass, um, like butter dishes and sugar bowls and things that I could add. Um, I've got some conversation heart resin pieces that I really like for Valentine's Day. That would look cute at the base, but I think they would just clutter up the table at this point. And with it already being a very pastel pink and purple table, it's very cute, but it could very easily go very, very juvenile. So I don't want to clutter it up too far in that direction. Not that there's anything wrong with being just a little bit fun and juvenile, but you know what I mean. Whew. I'm gonna bring y'all in for a close look, but I think this is really cute. I've been looking for a place to use these. I, I think I got them at, they say Hobby Lobby on the back. So I either picked them up at Hobby Lobby or I picked them up at like Dirt Cheap or a secondhand store. It's hard to say. They are super cute and I just, I had no idea when I'd use them, but Valentine's Day is perfect. Um, and I think they're really cute with the flowers. So let's give y'all a closer look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'll definitely have to invite some friends over for a little Valentine's Day brunch now, even after Valentine's Day. Oh, it's so cute with the flowers and the bowls. I love it and I love, I just love that these have the little dots and my plates have the little dots. Flowers are stunning. These aren't even really my flowers. They're my mom's, but I told her I was setting a Valentine's Day table and she was like, take the flowers, they'll be perfect. And I was like, okay. She got two bouquets, the stinker. She can share with me the zero bouquet girl of the year. 
She's really sweet to share. And she's gotten me bouquets. I've gotten bouquets from friends, but you know, Valentine's Day is always a little bittersweet these days. We make the most of it. I really like the rose gold flatware on these placemats with the rose gold in them. I think that is really cute. And I love the depression glasses. I actually have several <laughs> pink glasses, but these are just a little more subtle. The other ones I have are a dark, like mauvey kind of pink. So I hope you guys liked this quick and easy table. I like that I didn't have to go out and buy anything. Every single thing on the table I either already owned or haven't even used yet. The placemats and the purple bowls were things I've purchased on sale over the years without having a great place for. I just liked them and now I have a good use for them. So it's kind of why I add things to my collection when you see them at a good price. Don't always want to run out and buy brand new things every single table. So if you liked this table, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. I will see you in the next tablescape. Bye y'all.